So last week we had a very interesting event uh, happening here at Creative Electron. Uh, we need to connect a system to 220 volts and um, we need to connect a few other things. So what we did is we picked up one of these uh, power strips, right? Uh, which was ready for uh, 220, 240, uh, actually 120, 115 to 240, right? Uh, pretty easy, straightforward electrical connection. Uh, and uh, what happened is uh, we plugged it in, uh, and as you guys can see here, it completely exploded. And in the process of doing that, it brought uh, electrical power uh, to the whole building down, right? It was, uh, was a very interesting. Uh, you know, blinding flash of light and the whole building uh, electric went down. So, we decided to x-ray it uh, to give you guys an idea uh, what happened inside this power strip. And in the future, you know, in your house, if you do want to do something like that, uh, it might be worth taking a look in more detail before you just plug things into 220. In this specific case, what we found out is that even though on the outside they say it's ready to 220 to 40, in the inside the parts are actually rated to 115 max. So there is a mismatch. Uh, I'm not gonna say exactly where we got this from, but be super careful. So we're gonna head now to the X-ray machine uh, and to give you guys a quick look of what happened inside this power strip. Let's go. So now that we're here in the X-ray, uh, we're gonna take a look at exactly what happened with this uh, power strip. So let's pop this in. And let's see what kind of damage uh, do we get here with this uh, blown X-ray. So the first thing you see uh, which is should be quite obvious for you guys is the amount of material that is blown all over the place. Let me use my mouse here instead. Uh, as you can see here, so this is nothing but um, uh, basically mel uh, metal that uh, melted and flew all over the place. So let's, as we move uh, towards uh, the end, of the unit, you can see here the switch. This is the reset switch for um, for the power, and there you have it. Look at that, how beautiful that is. So let's uh, let's explain what we're looking at here. Uh, this is a uh, fuse that's inside the unit. This, of course, is blown, but on top of uh, the blown fuse, what we have here. Yes. Uh, what we have here is a broken trace. So there used to be a copper trace connecting this. Uh, uh, these are protective devices. They basically, these guys are supposed to trip uh, in case of an over voltage. Instead, the trace on the board blew up. So uh, just to give you guys an exact idea what happened, uh, there used to be a trace right here that uh, went from uh, solid state to liquid state uh, when uh, an overcurrent uh, happened. So what happens is it works like a, a, a fuse, right? You have uh, too much current going through the, uh, the trace and as a result it melts uh, and it works as a fuse basically, it breaks the electrical connection. So this is one area where the trace, uh, the trace just uh, melted away and here's another area where the trace melted away. You can see here the edge and some of the melted copper that uh, is still there and a bunch of copper that basically splashed uh, all over the unit as you can see here, here and there. So there you have it. Uh, next time you plug one of these things to your 220 or 115 uh, in your house, please be careful. Uh, make sure uh, you buy it from a reliable source. Uh, some of these units uh, from overseas can be uh, challenging. Uh, this is not, again, this is not one of those things where you save money. Buy a good quality unit uh, so something like this doesn't happen to you. Thanks for watching and make sure to check the other videos in our channel. Bye. Play what you want.